Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Andrew Ruth. I did a little sneaky Twitter poll and I was like, what do people want to see if the streak ends? Which, you know, some people, Einstein's amongst them, looked through the the between the lines there and said maybe the streak has already ended. And here's the results that I got. What when the Isaac streak ends, what kind of Isaac videos are you most interested in seeing? 39% said random runs, 27% said Eden runs, Eden runs, sorry, 20% said daily runs, 14% said something else which seemed roughly evenly divided between modded runs, challenge runs, um, and others like lost streaks and, you know, going back to Wrath of the Lamb, etc, etc. So for right now, you know, there's 2,700 votes in this poll, which is incredible to me. 40% of people said they want random runs. I kind of think the people have spoken there. Let's anger 60% of people by choosing the predominant answer here. And we're going to do random runs for the time being. Some people were like, you know, do random Isaac Eden. And I was like, that's pretty cool too. I don't dislike that idea. We have not played Kane in forever. XLY1, Hova. The winner is Hov. My man. Speech. You guys ever listen to... Uh... Oh, I actually forgot the name of the song. It's from 07. It was on the American Gangster soundtrack. We were all there. Anyway. I'm excited for this run. We don't get to play as Kane all that often, and it's good to get a chance to revisit these characters, because, I mean, we may have more challenges to do when Afterbirth Plus comes out, and I don't want to be the guy who's going in after, like, 2,000 hours of playing this goddamn video game, and then being like, what does Kane do again? Oh, right, he doesn't give you bad pills, and then I'm, like, dealing with antiquated information from, like, two years ago that was changed in the Afterbirth release. But anyway, um, I did choose, perhaps somewhat controversially, to go down to 1 HP in order to get inside of that curse room early. Of course, I probably don't need to explain my reasoning at this point, but my reasoning was, um, we're probably, decently at least, probable to get a, a spirit heart or something in there. And if we don't, we're still at one heart. You know, one heart is not an unfamiliar place for us to be uh, on these runs recently, so I'm not gonna, you know, act like this is an untenable situation for which there's absolutely no conceivable escape. Uh, and to be honest with you, even though we lost the last run as the Keeper, and I kind of think we got, you know, bullsh- what? We kind of got bolshevik no. <laughs> we kind of got bullshitted on the, uh, the gate boss. Um, especially the, the champion version thereof. I had a fun time with that, and I've had a fun time on our post-streak runs in general. They've been a little zanier, uh, a little bit less conservative, and a little bit, you know, a little less conversational, a little more action, you know what I mean? Where the hell... Eh, I'm okay with a little Gertie. Where the hell is our secret room? My first choice of secret room was not good. I'll admit now. But where the hell is our secret room? It, it can't be here. It's adjacent to our boss room. It seems very sensible for me to at least double down on probably finding a second secret room. Uh, which has actually been pretty kind to us here. Although I'm going to stick with the existing uh, trinket we have. Strength card is good. Got bombs, enough money to maybe buy a spirit heart from the shop, which I'd be interested in. But with one bomb, I do want to see. I have to know. I, I knew it couldn't be there, but... You know that in my head I was like, it's, it's the most likely situation, even though it's impossible. As ridiculous as that sounds, I guess I harbor some cognitive dissonance there. Now I'm just on a mission to find it, and... It's in a little bit of an unusual location. It certainly was not worth four bombs, but at least we got some return on our investment. And we're up to uh, 11 cents here. And, and really, like, doing fine on time. So I'm going to take a little time. And we can now spend five cents and still go down to the next floor. And have enough to uh, spawn an arcade, which could be very useful for us, of course. Just trying to get a bead on whether or not I want to shoot absolutely every single fire, because we are at 13 cents now. It seems fairly plausible we could be able to get to, uh, to 15. If we get to 15, we might value an item from the shop more than the chance to spawn an arcade, but... We have to weigh that, uh, you know, cost-benefit analysis once we get up there. Taking one hit is not that bad. Taking two hits starts to make you a little nervous on this fight, I think. And you definitely don't want to take a hit by, uh by getting hit by the haunt's body, because I think that's a one hard hit. Whereas, uh, just getting hit by a bullet, that's not catastrophic. Could become catastrophic if you don't get any extra HP, but not immediately catastrophic. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Don't sweat it. And I think we played relatively well on this floor as well, despite the, despite the shitty damage we took just there. Okay, HP would be nice, and HP is what we get. I think with six keys, we definitely want to go look inside of our... Shop, and if there's a chance for us to get a spacebar item, we got a lot of batteries to take advantage of. 
Uh, let's be real. There's options is the better item here. I'm okay with a seven cent spider babby though. That doesn't bother me. I think that's worth it. We're, we're sacrificing relatively little, and we have the chance to gain something that's, you know, minor, but can be nice. But we might not have a choice. Um, if, we, if we're able to get those options, I'm all about that, but it doesn't look like we have a choice. Okay. Uh, and the other trinket was the rosary bead, so it's not like we can do any swallowed penny shenanigans. All right, we're stuck with this, and that's fine. Um, we'll go grab spider babby. And I'll get a Spirit Heart, even though it costs us the Arcade. In fact, the Spirit Heart instead of Spider Baby, instead of in addition to, might have been a better play, but I'm going to roll with it for the time being. No Arcade this floor. That's all right. We'll just have to rely on getting a Demon Judgment regardless. So after wasting all of our bombs on the last floor... Ooh, Halo of Flies, not bad. Particularly for uh, free ability to fly via the Beelzebub transformation, but... Um, after wasting all of our bombs trying to find a shitty secret room on the last floor, I am unsurprised that we find ourselves unable to uh, access that tinted rock. Hopefully it'll change, but nobody knows. At least not yet. If you know, because you, you know what? Let me put it this way. You may know. If you're playing faster than me and you're on the same seed, you might know if there's a bomb coming on this. But okay, Mr. Clairvoyant Future, Future Seeing Man, you think you got ESPN? Think you can see the future? Well, let me tell you, I'm recording this at a date in the past. Ipso facto, ergo QED, nobody knows. And nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrows. I forget the rest of the lyrics, now it just sounds like I'm being morose. And I'm not talking about a Hearthstone legendary that spawns a 1-1 steward at the end of every turn. Okay. We do have a shop, I'm assuming. Let's see if we get money here. We got a penny. Five cents for a shop is not, or f sorry, f five keys doesn't really matter. We can get into the shop, but we only have three cents with which to buy something. So I'm actually hoping that that's going to turn out to be a library. And if it is, then that's great. If it's not, it does very little for us. Oh yeah, it could be a three cent consumable. Like, in fact, a three cent bomb might actually be worth buying. But it's a little bit of a lark. You know, we, we can get bombs for free a lot of the time. Usually you finish a run with way more bombs than you need. So to buy them... Is often overkill, but you can tell like I'm, I'm hard up for uh, money here because I'm ooh, bad damage. Hard up for money here because I'm actually shooting every poop that drops. We're getting like a penny per room. Pretty shortly, that'll take us to an amount that actually does give us the ability to get something from our shop. But for now, we're just treading water, and I'm I'm kind of like waiting for a better item. That was such bad dodging that Halo of Flies actually saved us big time there, but. Uh, that's what it's there for. I don't know if I should apologize for uh, taking advantage of an item that was given to us freely. Ace freely. Former. Current? Wait, I don't know. What's going on with the... What's going on with the, the Kiss Boys these days? You remember. The Kiss Boys. You got Gene Simmons, Long Tongue Man. Catman, Spaceman. Is this Curse of the Maze? Oh, where the hell is the Tinted Rock? Oh. It's not there. It's not there. It shouldn't be here because this is a big room. Well, we've already been to our item room. Our item room had a halo of flies. What was I thinking there? Is it here? It seems like it could have been there at one point in the past. There we go. Got a golden chest, which turned out to be a single penny. Which is not actually... I mean, it's a pretty bad haul. But we have the ability to take advantage of it because one penny gives us just enough to actually get... Uh, you know, a spirit heart from the shop, or a, another consumable from the shop. It's not really uh, the haul I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping for, like, a spirit heart directly. It didn't cost us an extra four cents and a key on top of what existed inside of the tinted rock, but... You know? That's not the way the cookie crumbles all the time. That's what they say, right? Take the cat of nine tails. Definitely take empty vessel. I think we go just go for broke, you know? Take demon baby as well. It takes us closer to getting the empty vessel payoff. Um, let's get the hell out of here. So far, so good. A little slow, I'll admit, but Empty Vessel's got some very positive stuff going on with it. I will, I, I mean, I do feel comfortable right now uh, in heading into the Curse Room, and, you know, maybe we'll open those if we get a chance. We also just picked up Cat of Nine Tails, which is a nice little damage improver, but uh, Curse of the Unknown, uh, Halo of Flies, I think, saved me again there. Um, Curse of the Unknown, always a little dicey, but I think we're fine now. I think we're okay. Oh, like, it's kind of a boring run right now, and... 
and I'll, I'll tell it like it is from that perspective. Uh, but it's not boring because it's necessarily bad. Capricorn makes it way more exciting, in my opinion, but um, it, it's boring because, you know, the items that we've had so far are just kind of like, eh. Like, little Gertie's good, but it's not that good. Halo of Flies is good, maybe even bordering on great, but we won't... Ah, such bad dodging there. I had a good plan and kind of fudged it up in execution, but... Um, we, uh... Just need something with a little bit more pow, you know, a tear effect. Give me a holy light. Get the people talking. Get the people on their feet. Give me a number two tiny planet death's touch soy milk parasite run, you know? Give me something to get the people jazzed. It's collaborative effort. I can try to bring the zaniness, but, you know, it it comes across a little artificial if the run is just kind of samey and I'm like, well, you know, the way this country's going, maybe dogs will get the right to vote. I, of course, I'm being facetious here, but really, would the country be in a worse position if that, you know, like, I can, I can go do those bits, which is my way of saying I definitely cannot do those bits, but I can do those bits, but it, it helps if I have the game, you know, meeting me halfway here. So the strength card is kind of interesting in this situation. We know that we have one HP right now. Um, I want to use the strength card to get a free deal with the devil, but I don't want it to compromise empty vessel uh, activation. Okay, synth oil's lovely. And we got teleported to a room with two troll bombs. And we got some spiders. So a pretty bunk deal with the devil, if I'm being honest, but... Happy to have it regardless, because we didn't deserve it. It's a little bummer, because, uh... How do, you, how do you conjugate that? It's a little bummer? It's a little bit of a bummer? And by the way, for those of you maybe from a different part of the world, a, a bummer is a... I guess I was going to say West Coast American. Probably just, you know, American slang. Which refers to something being kind of shitty. You know, a little... It puts you, it's not horrendous, like it's not an atrocity, but it's a bummer, man. You know, it's something that bums you out. It diminishes your mood to a mild to moderate degree, I'd say. Ooh, a four room rerolls all consumables on the ground. No, rerolls all consumables that have pedestals. Well, all of our consumables have been lovely so far, so I don't really want to... And by consumables, I mean items, but all of our items have been lovely so far. I don't really want to... Um, Reroll them, but we'll see what's going on in our shop, and we'll see what's going on in here. Okay, we can grab all that. That's actually beautiful. Do we like our shop? I kind of like our shop, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna take black candle. I I mean, we can use. It's not a question of zaniness or unzaniness, but like we're gonna reroll mom's box of trinkets, and we're gonna hope it's something better. But it's still gonna be a little bit tricky for us to get to the extra eight cents we need. I think in order to uh, in order to buy it, even if it's great, you know. I mean, we could shoot this. We could put a bomb down here or here and try to get like four of these blown up. It didn't. It didn't even re-roll the one in the shop. I guess you got to buy it first. We've we've probably been through that. Oh well. Um, last thing, you know, we're we're not breaking any speed records here. Let's see if we can get a good beat on a secret room that's been beguiling me this whole time. Actually, like, did we? I totally tunnel visioned, right? I'm looking on the map. We totally found the secret room. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. And we got one working bomb. Which, I'm actually, I mean, in case you didn't notice, I took leave of the uh, paperclip, Master of Unlocking. And instead I chose to go with the uh, small rock here. I think it's because we can get a ton, a ton of money out of it. Not small rock, lucky rock. It is a tiny rock, though. I mean, if you're gonna... If you're gonna rake me over the coals for not having the nomenclature right, can we at least answer me this question? Is this a, a rock of dominant stature, or is it a rock that's a little bit diminutive? You know, is this a da Danny DeVito-esque rock, or is this a Sha Shaquille O'Neal-esque rock? That's all I ask. I'm not saying it makes it any less of a rock, I'm just trying to cover my tracks. Luckily, um, I mean... Luckily, because it's Lucky Rock, but uh, it gives us just such a huge, like, passive benefit. Even though it does require the use of a, a, an item slot or a, a resource slot, basically. And it probably will cost us some keys over the course of the run, but we don't have Guppy's Tail, at least not yet, so I'm not gonna be too concerned about it. This is now going to be replaced anyway, because we get Curved Horn, which is um, probably my vote for number one trinket in the game. Uh, but if we can just get, you know, bombed enemies to blow up while we're holding the lucky rock it's free money you know and it, even like 10 cents over the course of an entire run might be worth as much as uh 
master of unlocking on an average run, but trinkets are actually like, when they first came out, I was just like, ah, you know, it's cool, it's another item space, you know, there's things that you can play around with here, but trinkets tend to be relatively minor, but you learn as you play Isaac, you know, like, trinkets can actually be the difference between life and death, and not just in certain situations, like, I think they're more universally uh, important than I gave them uh, credit for as a new player, at least. Now you're like, I mean, Curved Horn is a huge difference maker here. Lord of the Pit, look, it's like, it's your 16th birthday, and your parents are divorced. You know, your mom said when she was, when you turn 17, she's gonna get you like a Lexus or something like that. You know, just a situation that's really relatable for a lot of the world. And then, um, on your 16th birthday, your dad's like, I know you're probably gonna get a Lexus next year, but he's, here's like a Toyota Corolla. You know, happy 16th birthday, sweetheart. You know, like, the Toyota Corolla is a respectable automobile, you know? Gets you from place to place. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Reliable, good warranty, great gas mileage, fantastic vehicle. I would be happy to drive myself. However, you got another car coming next year that could be even better. And that's kind of the way I feel about um, this Lord of the Pit pickup. Flying is nice to have right now, but um, ooh, the Spirit Heart's not bad either. Uh, it's not something we want long term. I mean, flying is something we want long term, but we didn't need another item. Like, that that could have been a great opportunity for us to get something that actually helps our DPS, and we can rely on Halo of Flies or Empty Vessel coming through in the clutch later. But I'm not gonna complain about it, you know. It, maybe we won't get the transformation and, and I'll end up looking like uh, a little bit of an entitled asshole right here. Also, completely plausible, I'd say. Um, we did take the Yara Rune over the Strength card, so... Our strength plays didn't really manifest for ourselves, but I'd, I'd still choose, I think, to hold the strength card. You know, in, in most situations, I think holding the strength card is the right play there, because, sure, you can get a little, you know, DPS bonus. Ooh, health down, though. Actually, not bad, because I like our spirit art protection right now, and it gives us the, uh, you know, one step closer to getting Empty Vessel, although that's, you know, less relevant for us now, I suppose. Um, I think the potential of using the strength card for kind of, like, a, a good gambit play is better more useful, at least, than the potential of, uh, you know, using it to get a small DPS upgrade. I think. Uh, now we can actually make it to our boss trap room. It's not like we're doing boss rush, so... You know what? There you go. Might as well take use of it on this floor. We know there's no, uh, health downgrade coming, so... Maybe just wait for now, because it could be addicted. It's not addicted, it's a tears up. Okay. So what do we need to make this run work? Honestly, not really that much. A steady hand. Tall, handsome, sparkling eyes. I didn't say his name, but he popped into your head, didn't he? And then there's a picture of Ken Bone. Um, okay, greed. Who is Ken Bone Mo? Gonna get up to 24 cents, but I don't really, really care about this all that much. I'd like to be able to spend this money in the future, not just fight greeds for the rest of my days. This feels like a second secret room. And it's my favorite second secret room, the one that does actually nothing for us. I think more DPS would be good. Any extra defensive item, like... I'm just trying to think. Like, even a Gimpy. And I'm not saying even Gimpy as if, like, Gimpy's a bad item most of the time, but... You know, as, as compared to Dark Bomb or, you know, like, Nine Lives or something like that. I will take Fate. Uh, there's a chance it could fudge up our Empty Vessel plays, but it doesn't really matter, because, you know, it, it gives us one guaranteed HP, and Empty Vessel's not that valuable. I think the Empty Vessel Invincibility only works if we're at a, uh, if we're at the, like, zero red hard mark, so there is, like, another incentive to still get there, but, uh, you know, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I'd rather have the uh, the guaranteed HP than like a chance at a little bit of an inv invincibility later that we might actually still have chances of, uh, even if we take this HP, so not too worried. Sweet, uh, Head of the Keeper's a good item. Although we do only have uh, two shops remaining. One of them could have Super Greed, both probably will not have Super Greed. Being a little bit aggressive with keys here because we have uh, Book of Sin, but hasn't really worked out for me thus far. Hopefully we can pick up some more. That was actually really bad. Getting hit once, you know, on, on basically any room I can accept, but twice on that room is 
a little embarrassing. Not indicative of uh, indicative of a backslide, but it, you know, kind of thing we should be watching out for. Although I, I actually feel really safe with our HP right now, that can change pretty quick. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Good. Once every four rooms, we have a you know one in eight chance to get a key or something silly like that. So that's the kind of active item that I'm really excited to keep in our lives. Every now and then, it might provide us with something that's worth five cents. Sometimes it'll provide us with something that allows us to use it again. It's like a, you know, getting a play again scratch ticket or something like that. My favorite. Because it means you just get to gamble more. You didn't win or lose. Okay. Ooh, that's the ticket right there. That's even better. One makes you small is fine. Eight inch nails, we do not reroll. As much as I love, and this, I, I never see this mechanic get that much credit, at least for myself. But um, I really love the idea that, you know, some item rooms can have reroll uh, enablers in them as well. Okay, the battery charge payout is a little ridiculous. Um, I love that mechanic, and I'm happy to praise it whenever I see it. But in this situation, eight inch nails is just too good to pass up. And like I said, I needed some kind of like. Some cool tier effects. More options we can still take advantage of. Yeah, we're taking red candle. Like, if, you, if you're disappointed we're taking an item that's a little samey. Ah, get over it, you old salty dog. There's no problem here, okay? Red candle's gonna be good for us. It's not like we're gonna have any chance of getting to boss rush anyway. So we can, you know, stave off the dogs of war there temporarily. I mean, we do have a chance, technically. I'm just fucking with you. I mean, technically we do, but I'm just fucking with you. But I mean, like, if we go really fast, we might have a chance like actually though but I'm mostly just fucking with you but like in actuality there's a pretty good shot if we can just get out of here within like the next four or five seconds deal with the devil please Ooh, okay more HP book of Belial it's th there's no point to take it like we can grab this and then maybe we could have found a way back in there to take it but we already have Red Candle, and again, we're, we're still one deal with the devil away from Empty Vessel, one way or the other. Hello? What's your problem? Okay, that's about as low as I want to go there. Um, peep this. What are we going to do with the Yara Rune? Well, you know, ten points to the Harry Potter house of your choosing. If you said that we're going to try to save it for the chest. Got a lot of time to get, um, you know, seven more keys. And it is seeming like one of those runs where it's entirely plausible I'll actually really need the items. So, I mean, we're, we're doing really strongly right now, but once you get down to the next floor, you know, immediately as soon as we cross that mom threshold, our HP is effectively halved. Or it goes half as far. Um, unless we never get hit, in which case, then it's fine. But, you know, it's like a real estate purchase or something like that. You know, you only suffer if uh, real estate prices fall if you choose to sell. However... You still don't want to see your net worth cut by, you know, 20% as a result of something like that. You know, it's it makes you feel not so good, probably. I don't know, I don't have any equity, except, I don't know, I managed the gathering cards. Which, probably, I'm not going to bring those to a bank and be like, this is collateral for buying a house. I don't even have any flipping black lotuses, man. How much for a foil Avison? It's still relevant in today's standard environment. So far, so good. We've lost as much as we've gained on this floor, um, which gives me pause. But we also have 26 cents ready for the future. Okay, you know what? You've won me over. What a convincing case. Hello, my feline friend. Is it just you wanted to tell me you pooped? I assume pooping is the default. Tell me if you can't poop. That's the kind of thing we gotta take you to the vet for. Pooping is just normal, you know? You don't have to check in every time you you respire. You don't check in every time your body breaks down, you know, glucose into ATP to fuel your metabolic processes. You don't have to leave me a memo when you, you know, use oxygen as the final step of the electron transport chain. These are both so good. I'm going to take Blank Cardiera because I'm not a baby back bitch, though. So, Blank Cardiera is... A lot of fun. It allows us to get a lot of items from the chest. You know me. Same old G. So when I get to the C, aka the chest, I'm probably not going to double it until I get unlimited items. I just, it, it doesn't appeal to me as much as you might think. Um, because it's, you know, unlimited items is no items. 
There is a battery in here, though, so we can get all this. And in fact, I, I wish there was like a single penny on the ground, maybe? No pennies. Uh, I'm gonna blow up you and then hope that maybe... Okay, I mean, steam sale's fine. Uh, but I, I do want some pennies on the ground so we can get duplications here. This is probably just one us to run, honestly. Not that we needed something expressly to do so, but, uh, you know, now we're gonna be at max HP. We're not gonna be at max keys. We should probably double, like, once more. And hopefully they'll accept our donations here, but, you know, we'll get up to however many keys we get up to here. We can always double more later. And, uh, we'll grab as many spirit arts. The pill is relax, which is just a goddamn nightmare in here. Might as well buy the key, who cares. And we'll buy mom's key as well, and then... Hopefully you'll take as much money as uh, as I took out of you, and we'll be able to get, you know... I mean, it would be awesome if we can get our donation machine, like, even higher here. I think we should buy Mom's Key before we uh, get too deep into this. We can always double again, you know, get even more money out of this. Don't bite the headphone cord, okay? It's just uncouth, is what it is. Go! Oh, God. I've abandoned the error rune. Uh, we got it, we got it, go, 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 okay. No, 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 still abandoned it. Blank card, relax, is not very good. Dope, okay, now escape and never speak of that room again. We did get up to 30 keys though. I mean, I would like to be at 60. I mean, of course, you know, if we find an easy opportunity to get to 99, that's, that's fine as well. Um, but, you know, 64 is about where I'd like to stop doubling. Because uh, we can still... It's zany, but we can get, like, a small semblance of the kind of synergies that we've gotten. You know, sometimes less is more. Not always, but... Don't! What are you doing? Get out of there! You shouldn't be biting USB cords. Your cat just sleep, do other cat-like things. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, will I fight Hush? It's always a question you like to ask when the boss rush becomes impossible. Yeah! I mean, we got the HP, and... Certainly, it seems like financially we're going to be in an okay spot. Um, I, I don't really see... I mean, damage-wise, DPS-wise, we're not crushing it, but we're not doing badly. And I don't see a great reason not to do the, the Hush fight right now. We might be persuaded to find a good reason not to do the Hush fight. Like, if I take, uh, you know, eight hits on the Womb 1, I'm probably going to be a little bit less bullish on... Uh, the idea of going on for a fight that usually guarantees me getting hit at least once or twice, sometimes, you know, many more times. Okay, I, I call a little bullshit on that. You dodged in, you predicted my dodge. You probably didn't actually, but that's the way it felt. The game gave the illusion of that, and I feel disrespected, and as a result, embarrassed. Please apologize to me. That is also bad damage. Okay, get your head in the game. Shit's about to get real. Polaroid. Krampus fight. That ain't Falco. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, I dodged right into the Krampus beam. There's no place for that in this great game. We did get Lump of Coal, though, and our rate of fire is fine. So I'm thinking that that's a pretty big up for us. All I ask is... Uh, these floors be relatively kind to us. You've been really relatively kind with your deals with the devil so far. Oh, right. Probably, like, one more over there. Getting a nice little damage bonus, for sure. And the bombs are nice, too, because when we get to the cathedral, heaven knows I'm not going to want to do every single room up there. Some of those rooms are real shitty. Hey, you don't know be a good idea. Why don't we have, uh, 80 envies in the same room? I don't know why I put either Edmund or Tyrone in that accent. You know, it's a little bit uh, disrespectful, and I apologize for it. But it's kind of a shorthand to be like, Hey, I'm saying something most reasonable people would disagree with. And if you disagree, you're siding with someone who's got a little bit of a cartoon voice. How messed up is that? You know, it's, it's intellectual dishonesty. And uh, it's a tactic I should not be engaged in. I offer my sincerest... Apologies as we move into win one of the streak. A streak that I expect to last a thousand years. And you're gonna be like, you're not gonna be alive then. You don't know me. I occasionally eat kale. I drink a lot of coffee, but I drink it black. I don't wanna make my triglycerides whack. 
my LDL and HDL are lower than my... There's got to be something in there that also continues to make us seem like a sound uh, person. But I can't figure it out in the freestyle. My HDL and LDL... Wait, HDL's good. LDL's bad. It doesn't matter. What does HDL stand for? That's an easy question, Alex Trebek. Uh, what is high-density lipoprotein? High-density lipoprotein? High-density lipid. You know, this is the kind of stuff I got to find out for myself. HDL means what? High-density lipoprotein! Four years, four years of university, boys. Finally came in handy. Thanks for nothing, Obama. We're gonna actually cut it really close on the hush fight, I think. I mean, HP's not great right now. Pretty good, but not great. But, uh, you know, it should be conceivable either way for us to make it if we really rush. But we're gonna have to, like, really, really rush. It's a long way back for these keys as well. And this is only going to take us to 16 extras. I know there's another battery charge. Uh, as much as this pains me to do, and, and if you know me from watching these videos, or you have a sense of my personality from watching these videos, you know that this pains me, and I'm talking now as a way to keep myself distracted from the fact that I'm doing something that annoys me because it takes more time than I deem necessary. But at the same time, it's a good thing for us to do either way, so that we have more keys and more doubling potential when we get down to the chest. And you see, after that little ad-libbing off the top of the dome piece, we've already accomplished it. Let's grab these keys, fight the boss, have the chance to make it to the hush fight. I shouldn't be so stoked to make it to the hush fight because, uh, you know, I, I might just be tunneling or hurtling headlong towards my own demise. But uh, we went from one key. Ooh, not bad. We went from one key to 64 keys. Can anyone tell me how many doublings that is? You might have said six. Two to the power of six is indeed 64, but we started at one. So I think... It was seven doublings. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I may be. I'd like to know. Magic scab, and then probably we've lost... Ooh, I was going to say we've lost our ability to take advantage of Empty Vessel, but we haven't. Uh, I think we just take Abaddon and be stoked. I don't think we need Satanic Bible. Abaddon's a great item for us here. We're at max HP either way. Um... And uh, this does allow us to maybe get some invincibility out of Empty Vessel. But we have to really, like, tunnel vision towards this hush fight if we're going to do it. And I think it's a big advantage for us to do so. Um, Mom's heart should go down relatively quickly here. We may even want to bomb our way through some nasty rooms. The one thing we lack from, like, a DPS standpoint right now is serious room clearing ability. We don't have a number two. We don't have a toxic shock. We don't have a space bar item, you know, like Krampus' head. So... Every room that we come to, we either blow it up and risk having to do it again, which costs us a second bomb, or we um, or we just shoot every enemy individually. And on a room like that, it takes uh, it takes a while. It takes a while. Since I was in a dick, did young. So we're still moving forward here. Uh, I'm becoming increasingly skeptical of our chances to get to Mom's heart or to to get to the hush fight though, because I'm looking at this and I'm like. And we need, like, at least 15 seconds to beat Mom's heart. Like, we don't we don't have a, an ace in the hole that we can pull out that's going to make that go any faster. So, we really need to find the boss fight in, like, the next room. And we did, so it might indeed be possible. We're going to have to be real quick about it, though. But we didn't give ourselves 15 seconds. We gave ourselves 24 seconds. Even better. And I think we should... Even if it risks like a hit or two to ourselves, I think we should go for uh, go for broke here. It's unfortunate, but we don't really have like a a better way of going about this. Fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and it's open, it's open, it's open. No! Wow, we must have been off by like you know five. 500 milliseconds or something like that. I was trying to parse it in my head. Dang, metric system. It's so intuitive, it makes me second-guess myself. 500 milliseconds, right? Not 500 nanoseconds. Nanos are billions, I think. Micro or millions? No, micro or 10,000, 100,000. I don't know. It doesn't matter. 
rarely end up using them either way. I mean, okay, so should we double this? We probably should double this, but in the end, it's probably not likely to matter too much. You know, the, the money's useless. If I'm being honest, you know, given the way that I tend to use bombs at this late stage of the game, the bombs are probably useless. Might throw some of them in here just to, you know, pepper the enemy a little bit. Hit him with the old Northern Lion Mirepoix, if you know what I mean. Some kind of Bukaki move or something, I don't know. Some kind of Bukaki move, you know, quarter circle forward, high punch. And then you give him the old Northern Lion Mirepoix. That's M-I-R-P-O-I-X, of course, spelled just the way it's said. M-I-R-E-P-O-I-X. M-I-R-E. The Meyer Poiks. I mean, I don't even, like, I can't muster the enthusiasm to go back and double it again. Restriction breeds creativity, man, and this is just, it's, it's too unrestricted. No one man should have all that power. I firmly believe that. Mr. West, in 2010, you said no one man should have all that power. Now you're running for President of the United States. Care to respond? I heard him say, uh, nothing's ever promised tomorrow today. From the shy, like Tim, it's a hard away. Till it was in the name of ro uh, love, like robbers say. If you ask me to go get a job today, can I at least get a raise from the minimum wage? Woo! And I know the government administers AIDS. Eee, I don't know about that. We're gonna need to fact check that one, Mr. West. We're with you about getting a raise on the minimum wage, mostly. When you claim that AIDS was a an American government conspiracy to keep the poor down, you're gonna need some citations. But you know what? It's a song. And if Adam Levine guest stars on a song, then I don't take any issue with it. As a reference to track two off of uh, Kanye West's 2005 album, Late Registration. Why did I take that? What what a stupid move to take that. Why do you have to go ruin your beautiful shirt doing something like that? In the end, you know, it's it's not going to matter too much. The invincibility is unlikely to make a huge difference, but it's just a little bit of like a boneheaded move. It makes me feel like I'm I'm quite a maroon, you know? By the way, this this floor is Taking forever. One day they'll free me from this nothing I've become, but until then, we're Meyerpoid in the uh, illusion of power down here. Which I have heard that no one man should have all of this. Ooh, tears up, well worth it. Covered a lot of ground. I would love for this to be a secret room curse room, but the odds of that, I'd say, are eh, nearly zero, especially because the secret room is right here. 100% confidence, never a doubt in my mind, I still believe the secret room is there, in spite of overwhelming evidence to the contrary, because I don't want to admit that I was wrong. That's the way we do things in this day and age, and I'm sticking to my guns here, to avoid the illusion of weakness. Which I've heard that no man should have all of this of. Man, we're using bombs. We're if you want me to use bombs, I'll use bombs, okay? Now, what, what's our what's our MO on the chest? I am intending, at least, on uh, getting to 64. How many doublings does it take to get from 4 to 64? It takes 4, I think. How many 4 to the power of 2s does it take to get from 4 to 64? You go 4, 8, ooh. 16, 32, 64. 4 to 8. 8 to 16, 16 to 32, yeah, it takes 4. Alright. So we won't pick up any items until that happens, and we're just relying on, you know, battery charge drops. We're relying on, uh, you know, not encountering, like, super nasty rooms, and, and you know, by and large, this run, if there's a, a huge criticism that I can levy against this run, we're not really in, like, we're not at all in glass cannon mode. There's no really necessary there. Like, we're, we're not in glass cannon mode, and, um... I, I kind of, in, in a way, I'm kind of like bummed out by that. We're not quite a cannon, and we definitely ain't glass. We're like a, we're like a granite, you know, M1 Garand or something like that. We're a World War II era service rifle. Yeah, you know, you don't want to get shot in the chest by one. It's gonna mess you up. 
But at the same time, it's not quite the same as, you know, taking a howitzer to the dome piece. So we, we got like a lot of, it, it's pretty low stakes, I guess is what I'm getting at right now. Zero wins, so, you know, it's not like this is on the precipice of a streak or something like that. And then Blank Cardiera is adding to the zaniness, but as of right now, we haven't really taken advantage of it or had the opportunity to take advantage of it for such. But uh, what I'd love to see here is an awesome, like, sad bomb synergy. Happens all the time on the chest. Milk does lower our tier delay, so there's an advantage there. Um... I'd love to see a sad bomb synergy and just give me like something to write home about, you know? Like 1812 overture style. Let's hit him with those cannons, Tchaikovsky. Dun 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 Okay, keys, you know, it's fuel. It's fuel for chess. Dun 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 Ooh, dun dun. Okay, it's a waste, but at least we found a dead end in a timely fashion. I mean that sincerely. So this will take us up to six. And then we'll get one more doubling. Get to, yeah, I mean, we might get to 99. I mean, it's, it's not 99, it's 128, but we can only open 99 at a time. 64 is like a meaningful increase without it being, you know, it's like the difference between if you inherited like a hundred million dollars, you'd be like, holy shit, I am insanely rich. But I still have, like, some appreciation for it, you know? Like, I can't go out... You know, if I go out and buy, like, a $10 million mansion... Okay. You know, 10% gone. And, and $10 million is not a... Let's, let's put it this way. Let's say you inherited $5 million. You would still be like, holy shit, that's a ton of money. That's ridiculous, you know? Way, way, way more... Orders of magnitude more than the average person will make in their lifetime. Maybe not orders of magnitude, but, like, one order of magnitude, maybe. Um, what the average person will make in their lifetime. Well, you inherit it, and you you know maybe you go buy a five hundred thousand dollar house. You're like it's ten percent gone. We're in reasonable territory here. You know if you go buy a nice car for yourself, you know you might be another hundred thousand down. Go take some vacations, quit your job forever. Think of like the opportunity cost associated with that. You're like okay, I gotta, I can't Brewster's millions my way through this at least. Okay, we're gonna double it all here. The alternative, you know, having like two hundred items drop on us right here is like inheriting. 10 billion dollars like literally I have so much money. I cannot be a normal person anymore It's it's not conceivable. So I want to maintain a certain sense of normalcy here I also want to know what love is and I want you to show me da -ka -da, da -ka -da -ka -da. We have soy milk so far polyphemus. We're getting into some zany ish territory Bumbo's fine dead shot soy milk. I think can be very good. Uh, I guess we're gonna do this We have minus touch. No, we haven't. We, I mean, we have it. But we haven't picked it up yet. We kind of suck. Like our our damage still kind of sucks here. But I I'm not complaining. Like I have the utmost faith that in uh, you know 70 more chests we'll probably get something that deals with that. And we just like get it going here. Isaac's heart scares me, but we're on zero wins. Don't be a little bitch, you little bitch. We got some transformation there. Um, I'm not sure what it was actually. We're going to become a lot better the second we manage to pick up Deadeye. Just get some items cleared. Teleporter's useless. Yum Heart's useless. Ooh, Magic Mush is pretty good. Although we already have Capricorn. What was that weird screen shake we had there? The Mulligan's good. I think our luck is good enough to make us excited about Tough Love. Chemical Peel. I'll take Isaac's Heart. I don't care. Fucking, you know, let's let it ride. Okay, seems scary but good so far. Lost Fly, more piercing shots. We got a transformation. Uh, I'll take Dr. Fetus, even though it scares the Christ out of me. Let's start grabbing some... Oh, no. Let's start grabbing some uh, passives here. Bob's Brain. Uh, Midas Touch. If we can get that. Midas Touch, thank you. Best Bud. Beelzebub? Not quite yet, which is actually very surprising for me. Um, ten extra bombs. Little Haunt. Sister Maggie might be conjoined. Ooh, not quite. Uh, any other passives here? Not that I can see. And whoa, I didn't even see infestation there. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, BBF and Robo Baby. That might be conjoined. Wow. I'm gonna take Shoop the Whoop just because I'm a little frightened about uh, you know my shots that are also going to be bombs. Let's see how this looks. Uh, it's horrifying. I I can't shoot a bomb because it explodes into Isaac's heart in front of my very eyes. So, I guess we'll predominantly be using technology here. 
when we find the, I mean, our technology is really good, but when we find the boss, we're gonna, you know, crush him. They got no chance. Shoot the whoop is gonna destroy him, but our technology is actually very, very good as well. I'm thinking maybe, you know, dead, sh dead eye plus other stuff there. Um, not very happy with the Bob's brain performance thus far either. Can we like shoot in the opposite direction? Nope. Can we shoot like that? Okay, yeah, we can do that. If we're going very fast, oh Jesus. If we're going very fast, we can shoot behind us. So good to know. Nope, no we can't. <laughs> I will, one day I will figure out how that works. Wait, are we immune to explosions? No, we are not. High Priestess. Well, I say we stick with technology for now. Seems like a safe bet, and then we can go apeshit once we get to the boss fight. I don't really need large sad bombs, okay? Butt bombs is a little ridiculous, because, uh... I mean, sad bombs would have been ridiculous as well, because I think we basically have Ipecac shots coming out of them, which would be really bad for business, but... We'd probably still be in the timer where we can't be hit. Like, we'd be invulnerable for most of that, I think. Alright, I mean, it was kind of beautiful. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Win one. <laughs>